Hello everyone, and welcome to our weather update on the 20th of June, 2024. So, also, happy summer solstice. Um, today, at 9.54pm, the sun will reach the Tropic of Cancer and start going back towards the Tropic of Cap Capricorn um, for the wind solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, so the solstice is actually currently in only half an hour from the time of recording, it's now 9.24pm, but by the time you're watching this, it'll be after the solstice, so everyone happy solstice, um, and long may summer live. Of course, summer is only early, it's, it's only young. Anyway, so here is our, um, our UKV forecast, we get this working correctly. Okay, so, um, today we saw some uh, sunshine in the east and south, today was finally Finally, a warmer day. Um, up to today, like all the days in June so far, I have had a choice of the air. Um, today did not have that. Um, finally, a warm day in June. Um, now tomorrow we'll see this rain pushing in towards the west early on, and it will gradually push eastwards. Um, heavy at times, though I think um, as it did, as it does go eastwards, it will get a bit lighter and patchier. But on the back edge of the of the front some sharp showers, some big downpours will form in a line, especially um, in the west around lunchtime and moving eastwards to affect the east coast by about 6pm. Um, then they clear off to leave sunshine and only a few showers um, into the evening. Now overnight towards Saturday we see more cloud coming back in from the west there and that is because we see a warm front trying to move in and well that brings only patchy drizzle towards the west coast and it doesn't get any further inland than that. But really Saturday is a cloudy day, uh, not much going on. Now it's Sunday. Sunday I think has the higher chance of bright spells. Um, it's not quite cloudy but I think that on Sunday clouds should be more high based and uh, some more decent sunshine should hopefully come through. Now into Monday. Monday um, we see um, sunshine and only uh, very few showers, especially th through the Midlands and West. Again, a warm day then as well. And Tuesday, Tuesday there is there is some uncertainty, but currently this UKV chart shows just a few showers, at heavy at times, and it should be quite warm as well. Now I I tell you about all the uncertainty with next week, um, very soon. As we go through the chart data, so here is the uh, t here is the UKV forecast for temperatures, and as you can see, um, today you know finally about like fifteen to twenty one Celsius, finally a warm day in June. It, it could well be the first day in June that anywhere in Ireland has hit that value of twenty Celsius, unless we did it. I think um, like during the first day of the month, where we did see that slightly warm and dry spell but that was very short lived um, anyway so moving on tonight we see lows of about 11 to 13 celsius into friday friday is cooler again because of the rain so tomorrow is back to chill in the air uh, highs of around 13 to 17 celsius warmest as the rain goes through so that means in the afternoon in the west into um, saturday morning it starts off chilly in the east actually before by afternoon uh, highs of around 16 to 19 Celsius, almost a Munster. Into Sunday, it starts mild, and by afternoon, highs are getting to around 18 to 23 Celsius, almost in Munster and Leinster. And for the UK, between about like uh, about 14 in Scotland up to 27 in parts of West Midlands, there, um, very warm. Into Monday, it starts mild, very mild actually. Loads of around 17 Celsius in parts of Dublin and up north. Actually, that would be the wow. Actually, that's hmm, hmm. Um, you know, that's the first proper warm night of, of the year, if that's true. And then into Monday afternoon, uh, highs of around 20 to 24 Celsius. Wow, finally, summer is coming, guys. Summer is coming. Uh, for the UK, you're up to like 28 in, in London and in London and Manchester there. Into um, Tuesday, 
Again, it starts off very warm with lows of around 15 to, to 17 Celsius. And actually, for, for actually for parts of the UK, especially like um, into the North Midlands there, you've got lows of 20 Celsius. That is a tropical night. A big change in air masses there, guys. Um, straight from chilly to like warm in like five days time. Anyway, uh, into Tuesday afternoon. Wow, wow. So for Ireland, it's not that extreme, about 19 to 23 Celsius, or a bit warmer than that. But for many parts of uh, like East Wales, West Midlands of the UK, um, Central and Southern England, it's showing temperatures up to 30 or 31 degrees. Wow, what a flip. Look, this is um, today. Yeah, pretty fine. And yesterday it was not better than that, really. But, oh, wow. So summer is coming, guys. Summer is coming. But it may be just a taste of it. I'll show you why. So here is the NAO index of the forecasters. So we're currently looking um, as neutral of the index. It's going, more, going, it's going more positive into the end of the week and start of next week, which means that the Azores High will be more influential now into next week into the end of the month the NAO does drop towards neutral and that does mean that the Azor site is likely to have less of an influence now let's get into details so here's the GFS G, the GFS 12Z run GFS 12Z right okay so we see that low tomorrow bringing all that rain and winds going through um, then Saturday we see um, higher pressure starting to move in move in there we see higher pressure starting to come in there from the south. That works out into Sunday and Monday. It is slow, so it's a cloud around over the weekend. But by Monday, let's see now, yeah, by Monday, we are into high pressure and southerly winds. That's, that's very warm. And, 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 and as you saw, for the UK on Tuesday, it'll be hot. But, 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 GFS blows up a thundery low over us on Tuesday. That would bring widespread heavy showers and storms, um, and that does push eastwards and quickly moves the heat away. Okay, GFS has it as a like a three-day wonder and moves it off. And through the rest of June, it's just cool and showery. Uh, by the end of the month, actually, it's getting a bit warmer. It's also it's trying to come up, but fails. There's too much energy to our west, and into the end of June. Actually, though, um, there's also I just try to come in, but that is a cool placement. It's to our west, so we've got a northerly influence there. Now into early July, we're westerly, north and northwesterly, showery and quite cool. The Azor site is very huge. It's ridgy. Let's see what happens here. Into the um, end of the first week of July, Azor site moves in, but it's only to the very end of the run that this happens like over two weeks away. But that would be a prolonged spell of summer weather, guys. Um, that is what you want to see. Um, here's the ECM. The ECM's like this. Again, ECM tomorrow is wet and windy, but Saturday, as always, I starts to get a bit lumpier <laughs> and ridges northwards. And by Sunday and Monday, we're seeing some nice influences from that. And we're seeing uh, southwesterly winds uh, quite cloudy at first, but as I said, it will brighten up, and 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 these summer come ups. Now Tuesday, it has that low, a bit further away from us. So Tuesday on the ECM run, is there can be some storms in the west, right? But for the east, it's drier until Tuesday night. That low moves over us, and I'll show you the temperatures. Um, yeah, there's a the contrast of temperatures there. Very warm air to our east, colliding well over us as well colliding with this cooler air to our west that blows up storms on Tuesday nights and if we go forward into Wednesday that low goes northwards and it clears the, the warmth of the way and here we go to westerly winds and cool weather uh, actually or cooler for a time but quite warm actually by the end of the month with more of a um, southwest influence there but still that low is in charge so quite showery and by June thirtieth, we're northwesterly, showery and cool. Here is a GEM. GEM, GEM again. Tomorrow is wet, and windy. Before that clears away through the weekend, the pressure rises from the south, and by Monday we are quite nice and dry, warm and quite sunny. 
But 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 Thunder Low does form on GEM. GEM again, it will bring storms, especially to the Western Tuesday. But getting more water, getting more water down Tuesday nights, and that actually blows up into a deep low on Wednesday. That can be very wet and windy there, and it just keeps it very very unsettled into the end of the week and the end of the month. So June ends on a very wet and windy note with the GEM. UK Met run. UK Met. So UK Met again. Wet windy on Friday. That clears through. And then Saturday and Sunday, changing. There's all side starting to move, starting to move up there. And um, into Monday, we are nice and dry and warm. Tuesday, differences. No thundery low. There is one, but it's towards Biscay and Liberia, not for Ireland. So Tuesday, that is why the UKV, which is linked to this model, did not show huge storms. The other runs, if they had this charts, they would show big storms. Because UKV is linked to UK Met Run, it will not show that. Anyway, so there's some uncertainty there. Will, will there be some big storms or won't there on Tuesday and Wednesday? Now, uh, what happens is we see that is always high, keeping going. So it's, it is a bit flabby though. So, so as you know, a few showers will form, but nothing too intense. Into Wednesday and Thursday, deep low, deep storm towards Iceland and uh, like the Atlantic Ocean. And that will skirt us. Um, we'll probably bring some rain, especially towards the west and north, but it keeps it quite warm with a southwesterly influence there. Um, until about, um, until this day next week, when I think a westy might come through, upper air temperatures um, are quite... They're warm to our east, but there's a very cool air to our west. And then moving on to the icon, and the icon again, tomorrow is a bit windy, as we know. Into uh, Saturday, we see the Azor size starting to reach up. By Sunday, it's not influencing us. Warm and dry, some sunshine, hazy at times. Into Monday, same story. Tuesday, no thundery low. Okay, so it's different again. So Tuesday, it's like the UKV run on the R page, I mean, I mean the Icon run. Um, it just doesn't have half much energy. So uh, it just stays quite dry. Well, until Wednesday, Wednesday does see a thundery low coming in, and that will bring a few storms, especially to the east, and into Thursday, Friday. It stays warmish, but drier and a bit showery, not really thundery. Okay. So, by the way, Arpege hasn't been updating. It hasn't updated s since last night's, so I mean, Wednesday night's midnight run, so like almost 48 hours ago. Anyway, point is GFS, ECM, GM. Have like a Sunday and Monday of uh, nice warm and dry weather, but by Tuesday, thundery outbreak could be quite intense. UK Met, G UK Met and Icon, however, uh, go for quite a warm week throughout next week and dry as well because we do not see the warmth combining with the low to our west to create the um, instability and trigger for storms. That's the difference. If the low forms, we get some storms, heat goes away. If it doesn't happen, it's all side stays. Mysteries, mysteries to be resolved, questions to be answered. Tune, tune in tomorrow, and Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday to find out more. See you tomorrow. Bye for now. Psycho 4.